As frontline workers get the protection they need and deserve, many question, when will I be able to get the coronavirus vaccine? Thank you for joining us. I'm Kim Gable. Today, state health leaders gave us a little more clarity on that question. KDK's Andy Sheehan joins us live to explain who's next now on the list. Andy. Kim, the goal is to first vaccinate frontline health care workers and those at risk of dying from the disease. The state says that EMS, emergency medical services workers, should be next up. Every day, the EMTs of the Eastern Area Pre-Hospital Services risk infection, providing emergency medical care to members of the public who need it, even if they could be suffering from coronavirus. And the state says EMS workers should be next in line to get the vaccine. So my message today to hospitals is to start to reach out and to work together with EMS providers and the agencies, as well as other non-affiliated health care providers, and work to get them vaccinated as soon as possible. I think it's a great idea. Uh, our men and women, uh, they go out every day not knowing what they're going to come across. Already, more than 40,000 health care workers across Pennsylvania have been vaccinated. And starting Monday, CVS and Walgreens will begin administering the vaccine to residents of long-term care facilities. Following CDC guidelines, the state is rolling out phase one of the vaccine distribution in three groups. Group 1A would be those health care workers and residents, but the state says it now has enough supply to begin services to Group 1B, which includes persons 75 and older and frontline essential workers designated as EMS. Next in line is Group 1C, which includes persons 64 to 74 and persons 16 to 64 with high-risk medical conditions. It also includes other essential workers who come in contact with the public, including police and fire. Distribution for those final groups haven't been announced, and others must wait. It will be months before the vaccine manufacturers produce enough vaccine to immunize the general public. So mitigation right now is more important than ever. But Eastern Area Executive Director Stephen Shergott urged the public to avail themselves of the vaccine as it becomes available. Trusting science, I don't see any adverse effects. And if it helps beat this coronavirus, as many people can get it, should. Now, the state health department is asking hospitals to reach out to EMS operations to schedule these vaccinations distribution to private citizens is unclear, but the state says stay tuned. Reporting live on the North Shore, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.